Okay. Close. Right. Firstly, we have to prove case n equals 1. So that's just 2 equals 3 power 1 minus 1, and that's clearly true. 2, we assume n equals k case is true, i.e. 2 the dot all the way up to 2 times 3 to the k minus 1 equals 3 to the k minus 1. 3, we're required to prove case n equals k is true, i.e. 2 dot, 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 all the way up to 2 times 3 to the k minus 1 plus 2 times 3 to the k equals 3 to the k plus 1 minus 1. So sub 2 into this, uh, that's replacing all of this with that, because you can see that's the same thing in both lines. So that means you get, we have to prove that 3 power k minus 1 plus 2 times 3 to the k equals 3 to the k plus 1 minus 1. Um, well, they cancel. And we'll divide everything by 3 to the k. So we get 1 plus 2 equals 3. Ah, that's end of proof then. 1, 2, and then that just becomes 3 to the 1. I'll put a 1 there to make it a bit clearer. Uh, divided by 3 to the k from everything. So 4, 1, plus 2, plus 3. That implies n equals 1 is true. n equals 2 is true. n equals 3 is true, etc.